This video is prepared by IBS Assessment Committee. In order to share the knowledge about how lucky score can be calculated in the digital exam, we distinguish three scenarios. Now let's start from the first one. If you have a digital exam, which exclusively consists of multiple choice questions, that means you don't have open questions or multiple answer questions. Students participated in the, que in the exam, they only answer the multiple choice questions. There are two paths we need to go. First is we need to find out the passing threshold. Let's suppose in your exam, you have 60 multiple choice questions. And each question has four options, A, B, C, D. No multiple answer. Students are required to only select one option. Because of four options, if students go through all the 60 multiple choice questions and only fill in with A, then they have 25% of the chance to get it correctly. And 60 multiple choice questions multiplied by 25%, that means it is possible students can get 15 questions correctly by guessing. These are the number of guessing questions. In contrast to that, there are only 45 questions left that students have to use their knowledge to select the options. In IBS, the passing grade of the exam is 55%, 5.5. In IBS, the passing grade of uh, the exam is 5.5. That means students have to uh, answer the questions 55, more than 55% correctly. So this 55% is only applied to 45 questions. And then we can calculate if we add these 15 questions as a lucky questions to 45 multiplied by the passing grade, 55%, then we get 39.75. And we round it up to 40 questions. This indicates that the threshold to pass is students need to answer more than 40 questions correctly, including 40. So students need to answer more than 40 questions correctly in order to pass the exam. Where shall we show this information to the students? We should highlight it in the passing grade part in the digital exam header. It's somewhere here. We clarify the grading scheme for this exam. Students are expected to answer more than 40, including 40 questions correctly so that they can pass the exam. The second part, what we need to do is to calculate the grade of this exam. So first we know if a student answer all the questions correctly, his grade should be 10. And if the student answer 40 questions out of 60, which is the passing threshold, then his grade is 5.5. We use a linear regression equation to standardize the grade. The equation looks like this. The final grade equals to A multiplied by X plus B. In this case, X is the number of questions answered correctly. And we call A is the slope, B is the intercept. These are just the terms in statistics. And when we calculate it, we formulate these two equations. If students answer 60 questions correctly, then the x becomes 60. a multiplied by 60 and plus b, and the final grade is 10. And the second equation, if students answer 40 questions correctly, the x becomes 40. 40 times a plus b and the grade is 5.5. If we combine these two equations, we get 4.5 equals to 20 multiplied by A. 
and then it's easy for us to get the number A. So I will use uh, 4.5 divided by 20 and A is 0 0.225. So my A is 0 0.225. I use the A to 0 0.225 to replace any A uh, in these equations. And then I get a B is minus 3.5. So the equation for me to calculate the grade for this exam is x multiplied by 0 0.225 minus 3.5. Let's look at examples. If I have a student who answered 50 out of 60 questions correctly, what should be his grade? So looking into this equation, x becomes 50 times a, a is 0 0.225, and minus b, uh, plus b, and b is minus 3.5, then we get a number with two digits, 7.75, with two uh, digits in the decimals. And according to IBS uh, assessment uh, policy, we round it down. So the final grade for this student is 7.57. So a student answered 50 questions correctly, his grade should be 7.7. .7. Look at another example. A student answered 35 questions correctly, what is his grade? Again, we are going to use this equation. 35, that is the x, multiplied by a 0 0.225 and minus 3.5. The grade is 4.375. We round it down to 4.3. So for a student who answered 35 questions correctly, his grade is 4.3. For digital exams in at Blackboard, how can we configure it? After students have taken the exams, in your ex, uh, exam web link, this uh, web page, you can go to Analyze. This one is invisible for the students. And if you click Analyze, which is uh, uh, one of the options in the blue menu here, then you can see the options for you to analyze the, the exam that students have taken, such as this one. Then you select which test you want to configure the lucky score calculation. In this case, that is the second one. And you can see the default analysis is already shown here. So you can click the drag down menu. It's a small triangle here. And then you have a drag down menu. You select the second one, reanalyze. When you start reanalyzing it, you click override question settings. If you click this one, you can see that the question list is expanded. And then you select the wrong grading. Yes, by default it is no. So you need to manually select yes. And then you go to formulas, deselect the linear with two segments, but click a customer formula, and then type this equation into it. In the Blackboard uh, digital test system, x is acknowledged as uh, the number of questions students answer correctly. So they said X is the score. This is the raw score, the raw score. So 0 0.225 multiplied by X minus 0 0.5. This is exactly the same equation I have just calculated. So I manually type this equation into this box. And don't forget to choose two fraction digits. Otherwise, Blackboard will round all the decimals uh, I'd, uh, to, uh, sometimes up. And then you, have, you need to click a Submit. And then you can see the new test is listed below the default analysis. If you click the triangle, you start uh, the menu. 
in the pop-up menu, you choose View Grades, and then you can download your grades. Look, in the Download Grades, it is saved in Excel, and they have more decimals here, so it should have, you should have seen two decimals. And in the Excel, you can simply type round down this cell, this grade, and comma, choose one decimal. And then all the grades will be round down to one decimal. So this is student's final grade after correction of the lucky score. For more questions, please feel free to contact Assessment Committee of IBS. Thanks.